She got it, you That's right. I got your juicy entertainment news for Wednesday. Alicia Keys' new YouTube docuseries noted. Alicia Keys, The Untold Stories, has officially come out. Alicia Keys and Swiss Beats are giving fans an inside look at their lives as parents to their beautiful sons, Egypt and Genesis. And it seems that Egypt steals the show in the series. Uh, there's a part where he plays a melody that will absolutely blow you away. And uh, Alicia admits that she wants to steal all of his melody. She says, I won't lie. There's plenty of times where after he played something, I'll be like, hmm. And I'll go back later like, let me grab those chords, Egypt. Now, during the first episode, Alicia actually sits down and interviews her mom, who opens up about raising a biracial child alone without her father. And Alicia has always credited her mom with helping her to grow through the chaos of New York and days and says that uh, her journey would not be complete without her mom. Noted, Alicia Keys, The Untold Stories, is a YouTube original series and is also one of several projects that Alicia Keys and Swizz Beats have in the works, so stay tuned. Speaking of YouTube, R. Kelly's YouTube channels have been removed and he is not allowed to create any new ones. YouTube has made the decision to permanently suspend two of R. Kelly's channels, R. Kelly TV and R. Kelly Vivo. And as uh, Bloomberg has reported, they've also prohibited him from making additional channels moving forward. Now, YouTube said that the shockingly terrible actions that were committed by R. Kelly warrant penalties beyond standard enforcement measures due to a potential to cause widespread harm um, and that they are taking this action to protect their users. It's not the first time that a major streaming platform has taken a strong stance against an artist. And, uh, of course, we will remember Spotify when they briefly Im implemented the hateful conduct policy, which led to the removal of R. Kelly's music and other artists from their playlists. That move was met with some black backlash from fans and artists and, of course, prompted them to reverse it shortly thereafter. But it doesn't look like you two will be reversing their decision to ban R. Kelly. Dr. Dre is in the headlines again, and it's not for headline in the Super Bowl, which I am so excited about. Oh, that's going to be crazy. Um, speaking of crazy, though, Dr. Dre's bitter divorce battle is playing out in a Los Angeles court. Filings dealing with a separate case involving one of his alleged mistresses and their alleged child has surfaced. Dr. Dre and his ex-wife, Nicole Young, have been arguing over a prenup and uh, a lot of other legal issues. And as part of the dispute, her legal team has moved to have Dr. Dre's alleged mistresses plural, uh, Jillian Spear, Keely Anderson, and Crystal Rogers dispo uh, deposed in his divorce case. Rumors of his alleged affair with Keely Anderson, they, that, they've been around about a couple years, but since 2013. And there's also been the rumor that they have a child together. Well, he's denied the affair. However... It's now been discovered that back in 2019, there were court papers filed defending Anderson and her company in another case that was filed by a former employee for wrongful termination. And guess what? Dr. Dre's name and the alleged child come up in those. And last April, uh, Keely Anderson and the other two alleged mistresses were fined $2,500 for resisting an effort to subpoena them. Now, Dr. Dre, who is worth $800 million, has so far been ordered to pay millions of dollars, I think it was like $1.4 million in legal fees to his ex-wife, and he's been paying $293,306 per month in temporary spousal support. And you know she's got her eye on that Super Bowl money, too. And that's your Juicy Entertainment News for Wednesday. Make sure you lock it in again tomorrow for more of the juice. You better recognize Kiss 96.